Welcome Patriots to another knife review. So what we're doing here is checking out the Honey Badger Medium. So they come in three sizes. They come in small, medium, and large. And this one's the medium. So we got a four, a little over four inch handle, like four and a few. And then we got a three and a quarter inch, uh, if you me measure from the top here, three and a quarter inches of blade. But really you have about uh, two and three quarters inch of sharpened edge. Uh, due to the fact that we have this very large uh, choil, uh, which is, is great, uh, functional, if you need to choke up on your blade, so you can do some fine maneuvering of the knife. Uh, so overall, we have about, you know, seven, seven and a quarter, maybe, inches of, of knife here. So we have a plastic handle with a honeycomb, I'll show you there, design on there. So even though it's not G10, which is more stifly grip grip one, uh, this stuff is still pretty grippy. I have no problem holding on to it. My hands are large size gloves and I can get a full grip on there, no problem, uh, in addition to using the sharpening choil as well. So this thing is sweet. This thing's sweet. So I love this because it is just super, super fidgety, as you can see. This thing just flies. No matter how you flick it, you want to drop it, it just goes. So if you're somebody who's loving the fidget spinners, loving, you know, fidgeting with things in your hands all day, uh, you know, as long as you're in a safe location, you don't want to scare anyone, <laughs> this thing will be added to your fidgeting collection. All right, so we have a deep carry pocket clip which means when it goes in the pocket you're not going to see any knife at all see it's just flush with the top of the handle uh, and it is left and right side compatible so all you have to do is take the screws out so up to the left side and you left handers out there can definitely carry this thing our deployment methods are the flipper tab and this uh thumb hole which allows me to use my thumb i can spidey flick it i can do whatever i want with it so the detent on this thing is beautiful, meaning that it's not assisted, it's just on bearings, so I guess it's assist assisted that way. Not spring assisted, just on bearings, and so with the perfect detent, this thing doesn't shake out, but it allows for a beautiful, speedy deployment. Handle width on this thing is uh, on the slightly, slightly uh, thinner side, not too thin, not too thin, but thinner, so this particular knife I completely forget is in my pocket when I'm carrying it. Uh, it's just super lightweight. It is super thin, uh, but I'm able to actually get a full grip on it. I don't feel like it's too small in my hands. And it's not flimsy. This uh, build, how it's built, I suppose, is, is just super sturdy. There's no blade play in this thing at all. Okay, so it surprised me, because I take this to work all the time now. I uh, work in fast food, and I cut boxes down all day. I'll cut, like, you know, two or three wheelbarrowfuls of cardboard, and, and this thing holds up really well. And it's the 8CR 13 MOV steel, which is basically a budget steel that sharpens super well, gets razor sharp, and then uh, it doesn't hold up as well as some of the more expensive knives, right? or metals, but it sharpens super fast. Any kitchen sharpener you have will sharpen these metals. So it's it 10 strokes on the on the uh, kitchen sharpener. This thing's right back to razor sharpness. So I like it. I like it a lot. Too, too good with the flicks. It's just, I do this all day at home, just all the time. So I really like it. A side note on these knives is that if you go to the Honey Badger website, you can order different colored handles. You can get the G10 handles, which are a little more grippy. Uh, you can also get uh, different colored uh, backspacers. So I'm black on black right now, but you can get blue, pink, orange, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to kind of color code yours to your personality, you can definitely do that. Okay, that's all I got for you guys. So live courageously.